Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today, we're going to be building a fictional train here, and we're going to be building this steam locomotive from the TV show Sheriff Callie's Wild West Adventures, which apparently is a kid's show, and I didn't know much about this, but from the pictures, the locomotive looks to be a 440 American type, just recolored, which, good on the show for period accuracy and locomotive types. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with a mangrove stair. And we're going to place one on bottom middle, facing forward. Then behind it, a mangrove plank, and then a mangrove stair on either side of that. Then one on the top middle. Then come behind it on bottom and do three upside down stairs across the back. Then we'll put a mangrove plank on the top middle, and then a stair facing forward here and here. Then we'll come behind it on the very top and we're going to put five mangrove slabs coming across sideways up here. Then an end rod here and here on each side. Then we're going to do our pilot wheels next. So we're going to come on the next block back behind the slabs up there on bottom and we're going to do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. So it's one block behind that like this, then on the upper hitbox behind this, two rows of three polished andesite slabs, and another set of netherite wheels, and an end rod axle. Then put a mangrove button on the side of all four wheels, then we're going to do two birch bed skates on the middle, two on this side. On this top middle, on the second layer, we're going to put a line of four smooth stone blocks right here. Then coming off that on the second layer, Still in the middle, we're going to do a line of birch bed skates. And we're going to do three birch bed skates coming back sideways like this. Then behind that, we're going to put a birch fence. And then one on each side. And then back by one on this side. And back by one on this side here. Then in between these two fences, a line of smooth stone blocks up the middle, and that's going to be seven blocks long in total. Then behind that, on the bottom hitbox of the second layer, two dark oak slabs. Then on the back right here, three dark oak fence gates on the side here, three on this side here. Then we'll do the wheels for the tender. So we're going to come behind this, and we're going to skip one block back from these slabs and on the second block out do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box two rows of three polished andesite slabs and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then same as before a mangrove button on the side of all four wheels. Then two birch friend skates here and two here. Behind this we're going to leave three empty blocks of space, and on the fourth block out, a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then, two rows of polished andesite slabs up here, and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then a mangrove button on the side of all four wheels. Then two birch bed skates here. Two here. Then we're going to come on the top middle with smooth stone block, start behind these slabs and do a line right down the middle, and we're going to come out one block past these back wheels here. Then a dark oak slab here, and two fence skates under here. Then we'll come up here and do the driving wheels, so we're going to take quartz stairs right in front of these dark oak fence skates. And we're going to do a set of back-to-back -back stairs, skip a block, and a set of back-to-back -back stairs right here with a space between them. Then come underneath with upside down quartz stairs and turn these into plus shapes of stairs for the driving wheels. Then we got to repeat it on this side. So back to back stairs here, skip a block and back to back stairs here. Then come through underneath with upside down quartz stairs and turn these 
into plus shapes for the driving wheels on this side here. Then we'll do our pistons. So we're going to take out stone brick walls above this front pilot truck here. And we're going to put two walls here, two on this side. Then two quartz block for the actual piston on each side of the walls. On the front of each piston put a skeleton skull. And then up here, a polished diorite slab on the top here and here. Then still using polished diorite slabs, we're going to do our driving rods. We're going to come on the upper hitbox of the bottom block on this back driving wheel right here. And we're going to do a line of six slabs coming forward. Then repeat it on this side. So start right here on bottom and a line of six slabs right here. Then we're going to put a skeleton skull here and here. Same thing on this side, a skeleton skull here and here. Then come off the bottom of the piston right here, do three slabs, and then a backward facing polished diorite stair. Same thing here, three slabs and a stair. Then take out iron trap door and put three across here. Come to this side and three across right here. Now we're going to come above this first dark oak slab right here and we're going to go three wide in the middle right here with netherite. And then we're going to extend that forward in front of it another four blocks so we end up with a three by five of netherite right there on the side on the upper hip box a row of iron trap doors here and then come to this side and five iron trap doors on this side now come on this first smooth quartz block on the front middle do three polished andesite blocks here and three upside down polished andesite stairs facing outward on either side of it then cover this in a 3x3 three three of polished andesite, and 3 on the top middle, then 3 stairs here, and 3 stairs here. Behind this, on the bottom middle, do a line of smooth quartz blocks across here, right up to this netherite, and then a line of upside down outward facing smooth quartz stairs here. Same thing on this side, a line of smooth quartz stairs upside down here. Then a line of smooth quartz blocks down each side of this, like that. Then a line of smooth quartz on the top middle. Then on each of these back corners, on top, we're going to put two smooth quartz blocks here, two here. Then right here, a full row of smooth quartz stairs. And same thing on this side, a full row of smooth quartz stairs here. Then we're going to take out iron trap doors in front of where this other trap door is. Come up one hit box right here. And we're going to put a line of iron trap doors right here coming forward until you're on this first polished andesite block. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Start right here with iron trap doors and then come back to the back of the boiler right there. Now come on top of the back and do a C shape of smooth quartz slabs like this. In the middle, two polished andesite. Then a slab in front of it. Then skip a block forward and one polished andesite. Skip a block forward and a bell. And then on the middle of this, a mangrove plank. Then we're going to come down back here on these back five iron trap doors on the side and do five smooth quartz block right here, five on this side. Then above that, we're going to put a column of two smooth quartz block on all four of these corners. Then come here, one block here and here. Then two light blue stained glass panes on each side like this and close two birch trap doors onto the back of it. And same thing on this side, close two trap doors. Then come up here and do a stay glass paid here and here and a smooth quartz block in the middle. On this top outside edge, start right here with mangrove slabs and we're going to come back till it's one block behind the back of the cab. And then same thing on this side. Then go to smooth quartz planks, start on this front middle, and a line of planks to the back. Then right here, a row of mangrove stairs facing outward. And right here, a row of stairs facing outward. Then take out this middle front block. Up here, we're going to put two oak fences like that. On top of this, four yellow candles. On top of this one, we're going to put a forward facing skeleton skull. Then on top of this mangrove plank, a polished andesite block, 
and an upside down polish andesite stairs on all four sides of that block. Then we're going to put a soul campfire in the middle and a polish andesite block on all four sides of it. On top, a mangrove slab on all four sides and an iron trap door in the center. Then we're going to take out light gray stained glass pane, one in this corner and this corner, and same thing on this side, one here and one right here. Then we're going to take birch fence gates and we're going to start in front of the cab on this level and we're going to come forward with a line of fence gates until you're one block before the front. And then do the same thing on this side, a row of fence gates right here, stop one block before the front. Then we're going to come up here, two mangrove planks here, take out the bottom one and open a mangrove fence gate under that. Then on the front, a glow item frame with a frog light. On the top of it, a flower pot. And on either side of this headlight, a stone button. Then on this middle right here, we're going to do a skeleton skull and a stone button below it and to either side. Then we'll come around and do the interior of the cab here. So come inside here. We're going to put a polish andesite here, here, and here. And a polish andesite stair facing outward on either side like that. Then knock out this bottom block, put in nether brick, light it on fire, close the trapdoor over it. Put a lever here and one on the roof up here. Then two item frames with recovery compasses like this, turn around, and a stair here and here for seats. Then come out right here and put three dark oak trapdoors there. Now we're going to make a banner, so come into a lube with a light blue banner and red dye, put a border on it, make the bottom half red. And this is for the other cab windows, so we're going to come up here and put one here and one on this side. Then we'll work on the tender, so come back here on these smooth stone blocks on the upper hitbox and do a full row of smooth stone slabs on the side right here. And same thing on this side, a full row of slabs on the upper hitbox. Then we're going to come up on the very front of it with smooth quartz block right behind these trap doors and we're going to go five wide and we're going to fill this all in on this level five wide with smooth quartz block and bring it right down to the back stopping right here above this last smooth quartz slabs then we're going to put a birch fence gate on this corner and on this front corner and then same thing on this side one on this corner and one here. Then on top of this we're going to start, start one block backwards from the front with smooth quartz right here and bring it down to one block before the back. Then come across the back here and come back up this side stopping one block before the front. Then we're going to put a forward facing smooth quartz stair here and one on this side. Then come down behind it with smooth quartz to the back and on this side to the back. Across here we're going to put five upside down smooth court stairs facing backwards and three slabs on this bottom middle. Then come in here and three forward facing smooth court stairs here. Then we're going to do five mangrove planks across the back and we're going to come all the way up the side to the front and stop right before the stair on the front of each side. Then on the side right here we're going to put a column of three blank mangrove signs. Come to the back right here and a column of three signs right here. Then a row of signs across this top edge. Then we'll do a row of signs across the bottom edge as well. Then we'll simply repeat it on the other side. So we'll do a column of three mangrove signs right here, three at the back here, then come across the top. And then come across the very bottom. Just like that. Then we'll take blackstone block for our coal, come in here in the front of this, do a pattern like this, and then blackstone slabs like this. Then we'll come up here, get one in the middle here, 
and actually we're gonna put a slab on each side and three across the back like this so it looks three-dimensional then we can fill this into the back with blackstone block and then we'll put some random blocks on the top mixed in with random blackstone slabs so our whole coal pile here looks a bit three-dimensional whatever looks right to you and there we have it folks we've completed this 440 steam locomotive from Sheriff Kelly's Wild West Adventures I hope everyone enjoyed this build thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and everyone have a great week stay safe out there